guys and welcome back to my channel we are just going to get into it today i've got quite a bit to do i am going to be um doing some healthy meal prep for my husband at least the meals for me and the kids are going to be a lot less healthy but um here's my list the items that i want to freeze and the items i want to prep i've got my wine and my snack and let's get started so here are the ingredients for all the meals I'm gonna make. I'll be doing some um, rice bowls for my husband, um, also some potato bowls, some chili mac for me and the kids. I've got um, some chicken, some ground beef here, and some ground turkey. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with um, just chopping up all of the vegetables for my um, husband's salads. Um, the salads don't last long, so they won't wilt or anything like that. The meal prep that I do, um, I don't do too far in advance, nothing like two weeks or anything like that, but maybe just, you know, a couple of meals, probably about five tops for him, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the most part. So I know that the salads won't go bad because he'll be eating them probably within, you know, the next 72 hours. So these vegetables that I am mincing and not chopping are going to be for the beans that I'm making for my husband. Um, I'm making some pinto beans and this is not the traditional way that I learned to do it but it is the way that my husband likes it um, with minced um, onions and cilantro and um, tomatoes and it makes the broth really flavorful. So after I chopped all the vegetables, I decided to um, brown my meats. I decided to brown a, a pound of turkey meat as well as a pound of a ground beef for uh, my meal prep for my um, chili mac. And I will also be uh, prepping some, um, the ground turkey will be for a uh, breakfast sausage that I'm going to be doing. And as you can see here, I had my package of McCormick's uh, Country Gravy. This is always what I make um, what I call SOS, um, you can just guess what the letters stand for, but it's just this old fashioned meal that um, my mom used to always make growing up. She said they used to serve it back in the day in the army. Um, it's mostly a um, cream based um, gravy and then you just put whatever meat you like into it, whether it's ground turkey, ground sausage, ground beef, and um, pretty much, I guess, you know, like cream sausage, something you would eat over biscuits. And I serve it over biscuits or if you can serve it over croissants, whatever type of uh, breakfast bread that you like. So I let the broth simmer for a little bit and then I put in the rinsed pinto beans. And so then I'm just gonna allow that to simmer for probably another 15 to 20 minutes. Next, I put in the gravy in the ground turkey. And now my noodles are done. So I am going to mix it all together for the chili mac. Here is the ground beef that I browned. And next, I'm going to add um, a little bit of cumin well a lot of cumin and i'm gonna go back with some more after i taste it some onion powder of course garlic seasoning as well and um i believe that was a little bit of pepper and salt i'm gonna mix it all together before i put it in the cheese and the tomato paste
So now that I'm all done with this chili mac, um, off camera, I transferred it into a Tupperware to get ready to put in the freezer. And now the beans are finished. Um, they, as I said, I didn't cook them for too long, maybe 15 to 20 minutes, just so they can still have a bite and they would not be mushy at all. So this is going to be one of my husband's um, lunch preps, this salad with some uh, brown rice and the beans. Um, I have the brown rice as instant, so I just put that in the microwave and it was easily finished like that. And I will be doing um, a potato bowl as well, as I mentioned. So those cute potatoes back there are gonna go in the oven for 400 for about 30 minutes. So as the potatoes are in the oven, um, I had already made my meatball mixture and right now I'm just forming them up into small balls. My intentions were to make meatloaf and freeze it, but um, I forgot to pick up an extra um, ground beef. I usually like to make meatloaf with uh, two pounds of ground beef. So since I uh, forgot to get it, I just made meatballs instead. And so right now I'm just gonna shape them, uh, put them in this Tupperware and get ready to put them in the freezer. So I'm going to uh, steam these vegetables. Um, these are just a bag of vegetables that I got, a bag of mixed vegetables. I put a little bit of margin with um, this rosemary and garlic seasoning and a little bit of cilantro. And this will be the top on the roasted potatoes for my husband's um, second lunch meal prep. And as you all can see right here, um, it's all finished. I got the potatoes, the roasted potatoes out of the oven and I am just going to uh, plate them up in one of these uh, meal prep bowls. This is just um, a really filling meal. Um, I try really hard not to make my husband any meat. He tries really hard not to eat any meat. Um, he'll eat a little bit of fish here and there. So um, I just try to make them as filling as I can with um, lots of starches and vegetables. So here is his um, potato bowl all uh, plated up in the meal prep container. It's just about um, probably two potatoes all roasted in there and cubed up as well as a half a bag of steamed vegetables. So next up, I am going to do some breakfast prep for his early mornings. Um, you all know my husband's in the military, so his mornings start pretty early, probably about four o'clock where he has to get to work and um, PT and all the other stuff. So I'm going to make him some oatmeal um, using almond milk. And here on the side, um, I've got some butter already melted in the pan and I have um, these diced apples that have brown sugar and cinnamon all over them. And I'm just gonna fry these up a little bit and put this on top of his oatmeal. So here they are pretty much finished. Oh my gosh, you guys, doesn't that brown sugar look so good? Just all bubbly like that. So here's his breakfast meal prep. I've got um, two boiled eggs, oatmeal, as well as this um, trail mix that has um, almonds, cashews, some uh, dark chocolate pieces, as well as some raisins. So here's the meal prep that I did all complete. I didn't do a ton, just enough for this week to get him through the work days. So you guys, here are the meals that I prepped for me and the kids. Just this breakfast gravy, meatballs, and this chili mac. It's not a lot, but if it cuts 30 minutes out of my morning or out of my afternoon, let me tell you, that is such a blessing for me. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.